Hello friends, welcome back to the HTML tutorials and my name is Jay. So in this tutorial, I gonna talk about the HTML forms. Let me tell you one interesting story first. Suppose uh, you are a awesome web designer and you designed a website which is pretty cool. You have a lot of useful information on the website. But what if the visitor can't give you feedback? or can't log into your site or can't register to your site so for that the forms comes into the picture to add a form in your document you need to use the tag form let me just close this form and now we want some text boxes here so let me just label it name and to insert a text box here we need to use the tag input let me just close this input tag here but this input tag does nothing because we need to set the attribute type is equal to text so the type of our input tag is the text so it will display a text box let me give it a unique id here so give it a txt name and that's all let me preview this page in the browser here for you right now we have a text box here we can insert anything suppose you want to add password text box here for that you need to use the same input tag but the type will be now password and let's give it unique id is equal to txt pass let's just close the input tag let me preview this in browser now we have one another where we can insert password let me create a line break here for better visibility in the bra uh, page suppose you want to add some radio buttons so let me write the label first gender to input a radio button here you need to use the same tag the input tag and give it a type radio as you can see here we now have two radio buttons but it is not displaying anything because we have we don't have written any text between the opening and closing input tag so we need to write here the male and the female let me refresh this page now we have the value and the two beautiful radio buttons but if I check this male it should be checked and it is so it uh, looks beautiful but what if I check the female also so here is the problem we are checking both at the same time for that we need to use the attribute name is equal to name of the attribute gen and copy this name to the same ra uh, the next radio button also so what it does here is the the name of uh, both the input type is same so only one at a time can be checked let me preview it in the browser here so now when I selecting male and then selecting female the male is automatically get unchecked now we want to add a checkbox so let me add a br tag here and uh, to insert and checkbox here we need to use the same input tag is equal to type is equal to checkbox so we will have the I am fine and let me close this input tag here let me preview the preview it in the browser so now we have the checkbox here now we have everything except the buttons without buttons we can't check input because we we will not be able to fire the click events or for 
to insert a button here we need to use the same input tag and type is equal to either button or submit in this case we gonna use the submit and let me just write some close this input type and the value uh, we need to use the attribute value here to give uh, display some text on the button so let's click in the uh, save let me preview it in the browser now we have a button here which will do something when we click on it we are running out of time so this is all for this tutorial and thanks guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe